Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have just purchased the greatest thing we have ever purchased. Right? Right. Yeah. This is a Mitsubishi MT372. I don't know what any of that means. I don't, to be honest, I don't know anything about this thing. In fact, I have only drove it off the trailer, and that's about it. It's got some problems. I bought it on an auction. Apparently, the deck is locked up, but... It isn't. We're gonna be doing some testing on this thing. We're gonna get the drag out. And maybe, maybe we'll see if we can mow some lawn too. That'd be neat. Would you be quiet? But before we do anything, we gotta change the oil. Yeah, be quiet. Because it is, I think this thing has been sitting for a while and the oil is, it's showing it. So Wesley is currently struggling to get the socket put onto the oil pan. Because, you know, this is Japanese and we don't know the size of anything. So mix the WD-40 and the vice grip. Should get it off. So for oil, we are going to be using 10W30. Hopefully that's right. CarQuest couldn't tell me what it took. Over here it does say different oil numbers, but as you can tell, it's kind of faded, hard to read. So we'll see what happens. It's got to at least work better than canola oil. Yeah. Do you know how much this takes? That's a good question. I think it's like two and a half quarts, Google. So we just Googled it and this engine takes three liters of oil, which is 3.2 quarts. So we got just about there, but we'll see what happens. So after Googling how much oil this mower takes, I found a little bit of history on it. These mowers were produced from 1982 until 1988 with a 0.7 liter two cylinder diesel engine. The transmission has six forward gears and two reverse. And you could either get a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive mower, depending on what you needed and how much you were willing to spend. This one is only a two-wheel drive, though, so it's not quite as cool. But... So, the battery is slightly oversized, that's why is all the way that it is so that's going to be have to be fixed but it is a brand new battery so that's good we'll stick that in something else is that a full-on car battery yeah nice um the dash has had some modifications to it this is not the original thing so we can't you know use glow plugs or anything
That sounded healthy. We took the drag off. We're gonna see if the deck's gonna do deck stuff. We're gonna start with this lighter stuff on the outside here where, you know, it's dying because we haven't got rain. And then if it does that decent, we're gonna try getting the four foot tall stuff over there. holding up is because this here is right down there caught under the pulley here so we're gonna see if we can get that back where it's supposed to be so we decided we're gonna do it the smart way fixing that belt on the pulley so we pulled it back up to the shop where we have actual tools 14 millimeter we're just going to take this, pull, this bolt out so we can remove the pulley and then get the belt back in place. And then it should mow on. Are we sure this has blades? Yes. We should check the condition of the blades. I mean, if they're there, they'll do something. Yeah. That's probably all the film. Well, we got this out, so now we got to put it back in straight and then it should work. All right, so this should all be good to go then. We're gonna get the deck a little bit lubed up before we try mowing with it.
Time for an outro, I think. Yes. What are we saying? Well, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Hicks Garage, where we did an oil change and some testing on our diesel mower. So far, it doesn't seem like it's a complete waste of money. Yep. The blades could probably use a sharpening, and we did, it did mow some lawn, so that's cool too. We are gonna have to later this year use the PTO on some elevators, so make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see that. And leave your, your ideas for what you want us to do with this down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, it's free.